So welcome back to How They Keep You In. Uh, and in this show, we talk about the uh, em techniques of emotional manipulation that uh, religions and other uh, high control groups might use to uh, try to, to keep you in, uh, keep you engaged in their, their group rather than uh, enjoying your life uh, on the outside in normal society. So in, in previous episodes, well, anyway, this episode is called uh, The Imaginary World, and this is, this is a, a trick that they all use. Um, and uh, in, in previous episodes, we talked uh, a lot about like uh, 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 the results of emotional manipulation. So we say things like make people afraid of the outside and make them afraid to look at the outside so that they, they don't have a very good sense of it. So you just have this kind of like uh, this free-floating fear and then, then you, the cult leader, can kind of do, do whatever you want with it, okay? So, so we talked about that in kind of abstract terms. And the imaginary world is what, what, you, what, you, you, what you use to control people, what, what you use to, to produce these kind of emotions. And uh, in, in the previous episode, we talked about demons. And demons are sort of like the most extreme form they're, they're, they're the, the, the deepest level of uh, the imaginary world because mm -hmm. if, if I get you to believe in demons, mm -hmm. then I can just do anything. So yeah. like anytime you say anything that I don't like, I can just say, I think that's a demon talking. Yeah. That's not you. That's a demon, you know? Yeah. And um, you have to kind of lead people in to get them to that point. And that's, that's, what, that's what religions do. So the imaginary world... Is, uh, it is it is an alternate reality where uh, and it can be it can be anything. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be supernatural because I would say that uh, something like uh, like uh, political groups can be like like cults too because we yeah. could be like uh, Marxists mm -hmm. and I could draw you in and make you obsessed with all of the uh, the the details of, of Marxist theory. So that you you become distracted from from real life too, and or we could be like a multi level marketing mm -hmm. scheme, and I could be distracting you with with images of of wealth, and I'm saying like you're going to get rich yeah. if you uh, join my group, when really only only the people at the center of the market multi level marketing scheme are likely to mm -hmm. get rich. Uh, but what we're 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 used to thinking about supernatural things. Mm -hmm. So, um, like yeah. we have like heaven and hell. Yeah. And if if I get you to believe in heaven and hell, mm -hmm. that I can use that to control you because I can say like, well, if you do this this mm -hmm. thing that I don't like, then you end up in hell. Yeah. And if you do the thing that I do like, then you get to go to heaven, and it's all. Well, it's based on threats. Right. <laughs> I mean, we're talking Christianity and Islam. The Bible and the Quran are full of threats. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, but that, that that's kind of the point that I'm making is in previous episodes, we talked about what you, the results that you want to get. Mm -hmm. And now we're talking about how you get those results. And you, you threaten people with the imaginary world. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you want to be a cult leader, you just have, you make up the imaginary world and you you kind of draw people into it in stages. So like most people, many are I, I don't I don't know what most people think, but I would say many many people do believe in some kind of supernatural thing, and maybe they don't have like a very very concrete sense of what it's like. Mm -hmm. But if you meet somebody and you know they're like a new age person, mm -hmm. maybe like they have a vague sense that yeah. there is a you know, there's another world out there. Transcendence. Yeah. yeah. So you, you kind of get them to think that you know some details mm -hmm. about the world, you mm -hmm. know? And so you say, oh, yeah, like, uh, you know, the clockwork elves or whatever. Yeah, those guys. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, they have, uh, they have important information, yeah. things like this. So once you, you get them to think that you know more about it, Mm -hmm. then you can use that to control them. Because then you yeah. can say, like, I don't think the clockwork elves liked what you were saying just now, you mm -hmm. know, and then you can, you can threaten people yeah. with it. 
yeah. and you want to make them not you want to you want to get them focused on uh on the the problems of how to uh how to uh keep keep the imaginary things happy rather than the problem of whether whether how how real it it really is mm -hmm. and so i'm i'm a big fan of scientology because mm -hmm. they've sort of uh developed this down to a science mm -hmm. so when you first start to join scientology they they don't tell you that there is an imaginary world at all they it is kind of like a like a self help thing and they say like if you follow these techniques you know, you're going to be better at communication or whatever. And you can be any religion and mm. still be a Scientologist. You can believe anything. Mm. And Scientology is still fine for you. Mm -hmm. And then um, once you get a little deeper in, they say, they say you are actually a Thetan. So that's their word for soul. They have their own language, right? Yeah, yeah. So that, and that's something that can be adapted to many, many beliefs because mm -hmm. it's vague. Mm -hmm. You know, so... You can be you can be lots of different religions and still believe that uh, the Scientology Thetan is is okay. Sounds sounds like you're saying Satan, but you're saying Thetan. Yeah, it's it's a th. It is not it 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 comes from the Greek letter theta for some reason. That's just what he called it. That's that's the Scientology word. You've for, done your homework for your soul. Yeah. So they say you're a Thetan, mm -hmm. okay? But uh, and they don't tell you too much about it. But once you, you get really deep into Scientology, once you achieve the state of clear, then they start introducing um, demons. So Scientologists believe in demons if you get deeper in. And those are called body thetans. So they mm. say, like, you're not just a thetan. There's tons of other thetans stuck to you. Mm. And they, they're the things causing your, your problems. So you have to uh, follow our techniques to get rid of all of the, the body So thetans. that's what removes these demons or thetans. Yeah, yeah. You, you have to audit yourself to remove the Thetans. So they, the, the imaginary world mm -hmm. becomes bigger and bigger and more complicated as you get deeper into Scientology. So it's kind of like not... Um, uh, you know, well, Scientology isn't doing too well now because mm -hmm. people have figured out that it's a scam. But back yeah. in the day, you know, it, it, it's, it's not so difficult to convince lots of people that there, there's a, a Thetan. Lots of people already believe something mm -hmm. like that. And once once you get them to that point, then you just you you just add a little bit more to it, and then mm -hmm. then you then you can you can control people mm -hmm. a lot. So that is the imaginary world. And uh, so now uh, uh, maybe you could tell me some of some of your thoughts based on your experience in. Pentecostal, oh, Pentecostal Christianity, Christian. yes. I'm always just so <laughs> blown away that people are so credulous, not just into Christianity, but all these other religions. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> it just blows my mind. Yes. The majority of Americans, I mean, the data is, uh, we get right back to pure natural sciences like evolutionary biology, that, what is it, 48% of Americans believe that human beings were created in present form six to ten thousand years ago and they just believe it because preachers say it fox news says it yeah. whoever authoritarianistic people give these uh lies out to the majority of people and they believe it um it just fascinates me so yeah i don't know a lot about scientology like you do because my uh, strength i guess was evangelical christianity and so forth but i see where it's very similar analogous throughout all the different religions and belief systems. Uh, even the New Age spiritualists, it's, talking with them is very similar to talking to a Christian. Um, there's always this belief of the higher powers or transcendence and one with the higher uh, the universal powers that be and so forth. It's just fascinating that so many people, especially in America, um, believe in the supernatural realm. I'm a pure naturalist. <laughs> Nature encompasses all that exists and only of natural elements. Why? Because there's no evidence to the contrary. Right? Well, so let me just uh, interject on that for a sec, because one, you know, people say like, you know, uh, the Jehovah Witnesses, like those guys are crazy, or like the Scientologists, yeah. and they have they have a very elaborate imaginary world, like the uh, the Jehovah Witnesses. They have they have all of this stuff about 
you know, well, they have their own doomsday prophecies. Oh, yeah. But it's not like, it's not like they're more crazy than the rapture. Right, okay? right, right. And, like, the, 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 uh, the imaginary world that just standard evangelical Christians believe in, which mm-hmm. constitute half of America, it, it's not like, it, it is, it is, it is as big of an imaginary world as, oh, as yeah. you need oh, to yeah. be a Jehovah Witness. It, it's really like, like, it's, it's really absurd to say that a Jehovah Witness is, is a cult. And evangelical Christianity, standard standard mainstream evangelical American Christianity, is not a cult because the 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 level the the detail of the imaginary world that they have created mm-hmm. to uh, protect their illusions mm-hmm. is it, it is it is the, the same level that that you get if if you are a Scientologist mm-hmm. or or a Jehovah Witness. There's really no difference in degree. It's just mm-hmm. how how many people are in it, mm-hmm. and and you know Americans are just kind of used to it. They're just kind yeah. of used to hearing about this stuff. Whereas like Jehovah Witness ideas sound sound weird and mm-hmm. crazy. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, it's not very different uh, when you compare Jehovah Witness doctrines of belief system to your typical evangelical Baptist, Methodist, Pentecostal. My background. If you really stop and think about it, they all believe in an invisible man in the sky. I mean, it's absolutely absurd. Being out of Christianity for like 28 to 30 years, all the religions are very similar. They believe in a freaking imaginary guy in the sky. And I don't understand in the year 2017, we're talking about the imaginary world and the supernatural world that we have modern science, we have technology, we go above and beyond our atmosphere here, and science can detect these spirits if they would be, if there were anything supernatural. And that goes right into what Stephen Jay Gould said years ago. Maybe he tried to reconcile uh, faith and science, saying that, that, uh, what was it, the non-overlapping magisteria. So there might be a supernatural make-believe world out there with these angels and demons. But it could be up there, but science really can't detect it. Science will deal with the natural world where religions deal with morality and the supernatural. But the interesting thing is, all these religions make supernatural claims so, so in the wait, natural world. So just to interrupt, you're, you're saying what Stephen Jay Gould believes. You don't think that religion should deal with oh. morality. You, no, you're, I, think science, I think science invades and can refute and debunk religion easily because we, through science, science has already proven over and over again that social species like human beings and other animals have innate morality and ethics within us already. We don't need religion or gods for that. Yeah. So there's no place for religion, for morality or for anything else. So well, and, and well, first of all, Scientologists do not believe in the the imaginary man. They don't have a they don't have an overarching uh, god. But so it's not a religion that has a supernatural deity. Uh, well, they have thetans, but they're, the thetans are they're kind of equal. There, okay. there isn't there isn't a, a father father god or anything. But uh, but the the point is to to control people mm-hmm. to kind of distract people. So like in in Christian religions, you you uh, put you put the fear of God into people, yeah. and once they have that, then you you can tell them what God wants, and they will be the the fear will make them want to uh, mm-hmm. to to do it for you, yeah. you know. Yeah. And Scientology just has a, a different way of mm-hmm. accomplishing the same thing, but it is all about it is all about uh, creating a an imaginary world that that you use to to produce emotions in people to get mm-hmm. them to do what you want mm-hmm. um and um i don't do you have anything else because i i think that's that's that it. <laughs> sums it up you did a good job i i actually learned a lot from you about scientology today oh okay. i haven't well. done my research in scientology <laughs> i'm into like christianity and islam and these theistic religions uh, is, islam is probably uh a more more consequential thing to uh, to be looking into 
We should talk about that sometime. Sure. <laughs> I, I don't know. One. I don't know nearly as much about Islam as Scientology, so yeah. that I, I have to have to work on that one. 